This is kind of a discussion topic that I've had a uh, brewing in my brain, and tonight kind of hit me again with it. I uh, didn't really think much about it. Went shopping, uh, found quite a few pickups, and I'll be doing a pickup video in conjunction with this, and it'll probably be released about the same time. Probably be wearing the same shirt. Um, but when I got uh, to the vintage stock, I went to the one here in Independence, shopping around, found quite a few things. I was really quite surprised with the stuff that I picked up. I actually picked up uh, four or five things uh, tonight that are really cool, and um, I put one back. And I'll, well, I'll explain now what I mean by selfish uh, collector. Um, in the past, when I've collected, you know, if I'm at the thrift store or something, and I see games for a buck or something, even if I already have the title, I'll go ahead and pick it up, you know. And and I'm not a reseller. Now, we've talked about reselling before, and my views on reselling is, if you want to do it, it's all right. Uh, I'm just lazy and don't want to do it. And I'll pick up games, and then if people want to trade me for them or whatever, and I happen to have a spare copy of a game that's more popular game or whatever, then uh, maybe it's worth more uh, in the trade or whatever, you know. But other than that, I don't really think much of it. Um, and a lot of times I don't really think much of it when I'm trading either. I'll just uh, trade for what I want, not what I've got and what I can get out of it. But... There are times when I go to these retro stores, especially, um, when they'll have an item that I already have, and I'll see it, and the price won't be outrageous, <coughs> excuse me, and, but I'll go ahead and uh, pick it up and have two copies of it for no reason. A good, a good example of that is uh, I have Ninja Gaiden 2. I have two box copies. One of them is my original from when I was a kid with the directions and everything. The other one is just the game in the box. And uh, you may remember, um, I don't know, a couple pickup videos ago, they had a, another copy of Ninja Gaiden 2 in the box out there, and I left it there. Now, was I being a considerate collector when I did that, thinking, oh, well, somebody else should have this. I've already got one. Or was I being a, a uh, practical collector by saying, I've already got two of these. I'll be damned if I'm going to buy a third and spend $10 on it when I could spend my $10 on something else. Or, you know, was I really looking out for my fellow collector and thinking, you know, maybe somebody else really wants to put this in their collection. And I have done that. I mean, don't, I, 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 I tend to fall on the selfish side, and I'm not going to say I don't. Um, but I have seen games, and I'm like, you know, somebody else might really be looking for this. And I've already got a copy of it, so I'll leave it on the shelf for someone else. And I was wondering how many, uh, how many of you all out there actually uh, do that or kind of go through this thought process like I do um, when you're picking stuff up. If you're a reseller, you're probably going to pick it up if it's a decent price, uh, no matter what, because you think you can make uh, some money or a good trade off of it. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, the game in question tonight was this particular title. This is my original one. I did not buy the one in the store, but it was Dragon's Lair for the Sega CD. Now, the one I have is in good shape. It's on the hinges. The front case is not cracked. The art is got good color. It's not faded or anything. Um, it has the foam thing inside it and the original CD. And um, this is the very first game I bought with my Sega CD, uh, along with Sewer Shark. And so this game does have uh, sentimentality to me, too, Sen whatever the word is, uh, sentimental value as well. And I thought, well, if I buy two of them, I'm not going to know which one is my original one unless I indicate it somehow. And it, it was only $4, and I was like, I really don't need two copies of Dragon Slayer. Just for the simple fact that I already have two copies, I have this one and I have the one on the 3DO. So, you know, was I being, uh, you know, considerate of my fellow collector when I left it there, or was I just being practical? And I think what it boils down to a lot of times is I'm just being practical with my money and thinking, you know, you could spend that $3.99 on something else, which I did. <laughs> and, um, you know, 
I'm just curious, you know, this video's gone on probably as long as it needs to, to get my point across. So um, leave me some comments or uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm just curious if you all actually, um, you know, think about it at all. I mean, you know, you might not care one way or another, or you, or you might really care one way or another, or you might not even think about it. And I think most people kind of fall into that category. They see it on the day, they decide in the moment whether or not they want it, and they get it. And they just don't, you know, it's not a conscious thought of, hey, somebody else might need this. I've got two of them. Why the hell am I buying the thir a third one? Or is it, oh my God, this is such a cheap price. I can't believe I found a copy of this for a buck. I'm going to get it. You know, so, you know, I'm just curious. Just wanting to know what you all think. I'll uh, let, her, let her go for this time. And, uh... Hopefully we can get a get a you know feel for what you all think.